I wanted to buy one of these RC Cybertruck when it came out, but unfortunately it all sold out. And the folks that did get them are price gouging and jacking up the price super high. I found a model on Thingiverse and it is perfect so I printed it out using my uh, resin 3D printer. So the print came out good. I liked it. I scaled it enough to match the size of uh, Hot Wheels. So now I'll just have to go in there and clean it up, clean things up so I can have uh, the bottom here opened up and clean around the wheels. So after clearing the those materials down here, just so I can have uh, room or space, I went ahead and drill these holes for the headlights. And I'll do the same for the taillights, but since I have nowhere else to feed the wires, it's a solid piece. I'm going to be feeding the wire down here, and I drill these two hose at the back of the bed here so I could feed the wires down. Okay now we need to mask off the areas where the silver won't be and then we can go ahead and spray paint it the metallic silver. I masked it off as best I could. I couldn't get over the fender because the tape wouldn't fit so I figured I, I'll just paint over the silver with, with black. So it's not the best. The front where the hood is, is is really wrinkly because of the way it was printed. It was printed upside down like this with the support going up. So I actually need to have a different orientation so the front would actually be a lot more smoother. The plan is to try to use one of these fine tip uh, paint brushes and put in the black for the mirrors, or I meant the windows, the fenders, and the side skirts, along with the fr uh, front and rear bumpers. So here's a look on the finished product. Um, I should have used spray paint for the windows, but I got lazy and I used the enamel paint and it sucks. Uh, in any case, I've cleared out materials in the under fender here to clear uh, for any steering clearance. And these are the parts I will be using. I actually don't have the Cybertruck wheels, so these ones came off of a F-150, I believe, or a Raptor. can't remember. We have our base plate. I've already gone and sand these sides to fit the uh, Cybertruck. We have our steering knuckles that I will still need to take the supports out and drill the holes along with our cross member, the motor mounts. We have our charging port, the on and off switch, our motor, the steering servo, and our battery. This is the receiver that I will be using. And of course we have our LED lights. I don't have the bright blue or the cool blue. I only have the warm white, which I will use for now. And I have the red LED. So the idea is since I cannot feed, there's no way for me to feed the red LED underneath of the, the bed. What I've done is I've drilled two holes, one here in the back for the red LED to, to stick out and one right here at the end of the bed so I can, can um, run the wires down here and out here underneath the bed so I can solder it onto the receiver. So my plans changed a little bit. The original motor 
um, I'm planning to just glue it straight onto the base here of the bed. But the thing about it is the shaft is a little bit too short, so I cannot put my wheels on there. If I do put my wheels on there, then the motor will have to sit way lower, making it look funky. I want it to sit a little bit closer to the frame instead of way down here. So I rigged up, I rigged up this thing like so. I took a copper tubing, just cut it down to this length and insert it into the, insert it into the shaft. And I left a little bit, I left it a little bit longer so I can insert another, uh, another rod through here through this wheel so now we can glue it straight to the underside of the bed and then we'll look like that and since these wheels are plastic I will wrap it with some heat shrink and apply some heat to it hopefully it will give it some more traction so I had to take the car out into the yard so I can uh, take off some material here and also under the fender wheel again. And the rear wheels were rubbing here on this bumper so I had to take some materials off as well. And hopefully that will clear it out. So the assembly is almost complete. I usually like to uh, put a, a bead of hot glue right underneath the servo just so it'll stay. Before I usually super glue the servo on and I also super glue the uh, switches and the charging port on but it's proven too much of uh, difficulty when trying to remove it to do any kind of maintenance. So for now on from now on, I'll just do a, a bead of hot glue here. And I left the motor, a little bit of wire for the motor, just so the motor can go on the back here. So I got mostly everything in. I made the uh, stereo linkage and this connector, cross connector for the knuckles. I could glue I could glue the motor onto the uh, bottom of the bed here, making sure that the wheels don't rub on anything. It's not the best, but I'll keep it. As long as, as it's not rubbing on anything when the wheels turn. Now I can test the controls to see if everything works. Most of the time when you're trying to stuff things in like this. Uh, the wires get messed up. So something, something doesn't work properly. So the car is really smooth and easy to control. I think uh, the only thing that probably needs some work is to clear out some more material on the under underside of the steering wheel because the 
the left whale keeps hitting the uh, underfender, and one of the one of the tail lights is dead because I believe the wire, uh, the negative wire for this side had became loose when I was soldering it on together. Other than that, the car runs really good. Really smooth. And because of the very lightweight body, uh, I feel like it's it wants to fly. Overall, I think it was a really good build. Other than the fact that I know it's not perfect and it needs some more care here and there, but I'm very happy with the way it turned out and how it drives. It drives really smooth and there's no, uh, there's a lot of power I could feel and I've al already reduced the amount of uh, voltage that goes into the bump motor and I feel like it's still a lot of power. But it's really good the way it turned out. Um, there are a lot of lessons learned that I could probably make and adjust when if I do another one. But other than that, pretty happy with the build.